All right. How's everybody doing today? Um, I decided to do a playthrough series with uh, Resident Evil Village that I picked up on Stadia recently. So um, I did a first impressions video, so definitely check that out if you haven't checked that out. Um, and I'm going to just record some gameplay, you know, as I play, just do a playthrough. Um, I'm not a professional, you know, uh, gamer. I don't do this for a living, but I love gaming. I have a passion for gaming, and I love to share it with everyone. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to dig into Resident Evil Village. Uh, I actually played a little bit, played a couple of hours so far. So this is not a direct continuation of the other video that I did, the first impressions video. So we're just going to pretty much take over from where I last played. Uh, if I remember right, I fought the first daughter of uh, the vampire lady, the tall vampire lady that everyone's thirsting over, <laughs> Lady Dimitrescu, I believe her name is. But um, yeah, I made it to her, and she was like killing me a bunch of times. So I think that's where I'm pretty much at. So we're just gonna go with the flow here, you know. Uh, I'm gonna share some gameplay and share with you Resident Evil Village from Stadia. Hope you guys like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, like and share the video with family and friends. And, um, you know, just uh, hit the bell notification if, uh, you know, if you want to get the newest videos when they come out. Um, my uploads have been increasing. Uh, I was averaging about three a week. Now it's tending to go up more to like four or five times a week since I'm doing more gaming uh, content. So, hope you enjoy the video, and if you have any comments, uh, any uh, any other games that you want me to cover, um, let me know, and I'll do my best to accommodate you guys. So, enjoy Resident Evil Village on Google Stadia. And I'm playing with the Google Stadia controller. There you go. It's wired and I'm playing on my laptop through the Chrome browser. And on the top left is uh, resolution I'm playing. I have a 1080p um, laptop and uh, the frames per second and the latency. Wish me luck. <laughs> this game is fantastic so far. It's insane. That's one thing I'll say. Uh, I played and beat 7, and 7 was insane. But this is like another level of insane. And Ethan has no luck, man. This guy does not have any luck. Just saying. Phew. Castle Dimitrescu. So it's a lady, Dimitrescu. The nine and a half foot vampire lady that everyone's thirsting over because she's a hot mom. <laughs> yeah, I think that's uh, a treasure. Yeah, the crimson glass is a treasure, so you can sell it to the Duke. The Duke's the big, uh, big boy merchant that sells, uh, sells stuff to you. I met him already. Met him once. So yeah, that's the the crimson, um, crimson glass. All right, nice little fire going here. Stay warm while you run away from all the vampires. Ah, <laughs> uh, an easy to pick lock. Unfortunately, I don't have a pick, a lock pick. All right, it's locked from the other side. So obviously, I made it into. Uh, 
the castle. Maidens of the Harvest. Okay. I made it into the castle. You start off in the village in the game. I mean, uh, before that, you're, you have this insane, um, this, you're, you have an insane beginning part, uh, it's locked from the other side. Oh, okay, yeah, I think you have to go down here. And, um, I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but the beginning is insane. It really was catches you up on Mia and Ethan from part 7 Resident Evil Biohazard uh, part 7 so you find out what happened to them after oh, what's the scrap? after uh, part 7 and then this game <laughs> just play the beginning man oh my god what a way to start the game that's all I'm saying it was insane Ah. Got me the maroon key. Uh, maroon ring, I should say. Alright. Yeah, and I believe, uh, yeah, you should examine this. And then hit A there, and then it becomes just the eye. Maroon eye. That's a family photo. Aww. It's Mia and their baby. They have a daughter named Rose. Who, unfortunately, uh, I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but play the game. It's amazing. Yeah, so I got me a shotgun with a little uh, stigmajig in the front. <laughs> Let's see. I got the knife, and I got a gun. And I got a mine. So I'm going to use the gun here. Shoot that and pick up a crystal fragment. Which is a treasure that you can sell. Um, let's see. You can craft items. You have... Uh, and it's pretty cool because in this one it tells you, look, you need a chem fluid and you need a herb. And you can make a first aid med. Uh, you need a rusted scrap, two rusted scraps I have, and two gunpowders. And that'll make handgun ammo. And then to make shotgun ammo, you need gunpowder, rusted scrap on hand, and chem fluid. So it's pretty cool, the crafting. I like it, how they set it up in this one. Um, see the crystal fragment I just picked up? That's a treasure. So, you know, it's worth money. You can sell it to the Duke and get some... Uh, Get some money, man. Graphics are really good. Like that RE engine is is no joke. Where have they taken Rose? So he's looking for his daughter. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Something happened to his daughter. And he's in the castle looking for her. And this seems to be like a puzzle of some sort. You gotta like find some items and put it in there. Can't use that there. Can't use that there. So I don't I don't think I have the item yet. Um also I'm gonna play I'm gonna record for about an hour. I'll play for like an hour. Master Angels Blinded or Master Angels Blinded Gaze, and only then you will be saved. Okay. So um yeah, I don't I don't want to make these videos too long. Um oh, there goes the duke. Uh, oh, we meet again. The merchant. Duke. Why are you here? Where well, there's coin to be made. <clears throat> and have you found your daughter? No. If she is truly here, the lady of the castle would have kept little Rose in her private chambers, would she not? Domitresque? The very same. Why don't you take a look? Maybe you'll get lucky. And speaking of looking, care to make a purchase? <laughs> He's definitely a special character. Shall I choose something for you? 
I've gotten some new stock. So let's see. I'm gonna sell some items because I have that crystal fragment I just picked up, the crimson glass. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's good. Your coin. I got six thousand. I procured some new items for you, Mr. Winters. Six thousand seven hundred forty lee or lay. I guess that's the money in the game. Um, let's see, extra baggage. Unfortunately, you don't seem to have the funds for that. Ah, uh, you need ten thousand. Let's see. Got this in different recipes. We got a sniper rifle ammo recipe, mines recipe, first aid. Um, got a bunch of stuff here. I think I'm good actually. Let's see. Got guns and stuff. Let's see, can I, uh, yeah, I could upgrade stuff. You can upgrade the power, the rate of fire, the reload speed, and the ammo capacity on the Lemmy, the handgun. And you can do the same with the shotgun. I have the M1897. So you can upgrade the power, rate of fire, reload speed, and ammo capacity. Right now, I don't have much money. A great rate of fire can do that for free. No, it's not like me. I thought it was my lucky day. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave. Have a wonderful adventure. <laughs> yeah, he's a big boy. Uh, but you're happy to see him when you do see him. Cause he's got the he's got the goods, literally. Norshatine's Labyrinths, a craftsman of the late 19th century, Norshatine was branded a heretic in his homeland. He wandered the lands until he settled in a remote village. Norshatine then created four labyrinths, the castle, the house on a hill, the water wheel, and the iron tower. Upon their completion, he put a gun to his temple and took his own life. Wow, that's terrible. <laughs> Jeez. Each labyrinth is unique and requires its own specially crafted metal wall to operate. Each one contains crystallized human remains, which are said to be Norshatine's four beloved wives. The labyrinths are their graves. Interesting. Ah. Oh, okay. Can't use that there. So it looks like another little puzzle kind of thing. Oh, and I can save right here. That's always good. <sighs> Let's see. I'll try another slot. So here's the map. That's where I currently am. That's the Duke. No, that's the Four Angels bus. Okay. Merchant's room. That's where I just came out of. Labyrinth puzzle. Okay. Yeah, let me try. Let me explore some here. So, yeah. Um, the game's awesome. I'm really enjoying it. Especially this first part that I just passed. Oh my god, it was crazy. I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but I highly encourage you to have to get this game. If you have Stadia, especially if you love Resident Evil, oh man, this is a no-brainer. Gotta get it. If you don't have Stadia, get it on PC, console, PS5, Xbox, you know, whatever you have, <laughs> get it. It's freaking amazing so far. 
What is that? That looks like an item. Ah, gunpowder. Like, yeah, I'll take that. So let's see. When you go to crafting, um, yeah, I don't have Hank. Uh, I don't have enough uh, crafting resources yet, but um, yeah, it's good to get those gunpowders and stuff. This is like an elevator. I went. I've been here before, but there's like no power to it. It's, you click the button and nothing, nothing happens. So must come back in the future. I guess they don't want me to leave. What do you think? <laughs> Got the gate down. I'm like, Jesus. They are not trying to let me go. Come on, Lady Dimitrescu. You don't want little old Ethan to leave? <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, Ethan has no luck. It's terrible. We all got to pray for Ethan. Throw some holy water or something on him. All right, let's see. This looks like the room. What the hell's that? Did you hear that? This is uh, the main room and the demo, the first demo that came out. Oh, heck yeah. I'll take some handgun ammo. Thank you, yes. Unlocked it. Oh, okay, cool. That was the room I just came to that I couldn't open a little while ago. Nice fire burning. Examine. Great. Well, it looks like lipstick and blood. Hmm. I wonder who that could be. I think it's the lady of the castle. Break. Cool. Money, I'll take that. Thank you, yes. Thank you very mucho. Nothing there. It's locked from the other side. I think that was the room where the demo ended. Like you're running away from one of the her daughters, the vampires. And uh, you go inside there, and then when you try to exit in the demo, that's when Lady Dimitrescu came out and uh impaled you with her long claws yeah it wasn't a good way to go that's for sure all right so well they changed that around in, in the demo this was the the room where you put the maroon eye in it was like a face chem fluid all right i'll take that so we're in the what is this called? It was the wine room, I believe. Yeah, this is the wine room. Let's see what we got here. The winemaking techniques of Castle Dimitrescu can be traced as far back as the 15th century, long before the current occupants of the castle. Alcina Dimitrescu uses this legendary yet peculiar technique to enrich the wine's flavor intensity and bestow it with a thick bouquet. Her best vintage is Sanguis Virginis, meaning maiden's blood. It is kept in a special ornate bottle decorated with intricate silver flowers. Okay. Interesting. What we got here? Examine. If you haven't noticed, there's a lot of these like little puzzles that you need certain items to activate. I've noticed they're they're having fun with that. Uh, I don't know who that is, but it was obviously someone important in the family, probably. That sucks. I can't get a sip of the wine. See, see how that Dimitrescu wine tastes. to open. 
guess not. All right, that's the wine room. Yeah, they definitely changed stuff from the demo. Ah, so that's where it's at. It was actually in the wine room. At the demo, they had this this door where the wine room is now. The game. Salmon. Rune Eye. Oh, damn. Uh oh. Yep, I think that's the daughter. Great. Alright, wish me luck. Great. Let me string you up, slice your jugular. Would you take it alive, dead? Which would you prefer? Wonderful. Did I get away from that? I think I did. Okay, cool. Uh, June 9th, 1958. It was my first day working at the castle today. I was most shocked to see the other staff were all women. The mistress and her daughters were very adamant that they wouldn't bite. It was quite peculiar. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that is quite peculiar that they wouldn't bite. Uh, especially if they're vampires. Uh, June 23rd, 1958. It's been two weeks since I started working at the castle, and I am a little afraid. Another maid, Adela, made a mistake, and Miss Daniela slashed her face with a knife. Ooh, that's not good. And at night, I can hear wailing as if ghosts roam the halls. I want to go home. I don't blame you, man. I'd want to go home, too. July 8th, 1958. I don't know what to do. The young ladies were complaining it was too hot and stuffy during dinner, so I opened the window just a crack. Shut it, shut it now, they all shrieked at me in unison. I fear I may be taking, taken down into the cellar, never to be seen of again. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Yeah, man, you probably were taken down to the cellar. Or they... Suck you dry, you know, had you for lunch. I don't know what to say about that. All right, so I, I guess that's a way to avoid uh, the daughter of uh, the vampire lady. At least that one. All right, so all this I've never been to. I made it to. Cool. Pick up. Rest of scrap. Okay, I hear music. What is that? Oh, damn, who's that? Oh, it's... Oh, damn. Yo, she is so tall that she has to bend down. <laughs> to exit. You saw that? She bent it down. She's nine foot six inches tall, supposedly. That's what Capcom said. Okay, and she just left. Just like that. You're telling me she didn't see me? Come on. She just left. And the music stopped playing. What's up with that? Oh, shit. Oh. Okay. What is up with that? Great. Nothing over here. Oh man, I don't like this. Let me get the shoddy ready, just in case. OK, 
Okay, everything's too quiet now. So what do you guys think uh, how it's running on Google Stadia? Uh, I think it's running fantastic. Um, just so you guys know, I have uh, really fast internet. Um, I have a 1 gig uh, Verizon Files connection. I live in New York City, so internet uh, access and speed is pretty, pretty great. Um, so I shouldn't have any problems, at least connection-wise. Now, what the heck do I do here? Okay. What does this say? Trust in light. Trust in light. And it's written in blood. That's comforting. Let me see. Can I lock that down. I saw that, huh? Ah, how about that? That was pretty cool. Nice little puzzle to open this up. The art here, what is this? This is like sculptures of like uh, soldiers fighting. It's actually pretty cool. Let me, uh, to um, a screenshot. I love doing screenshots. Nice. And the screenshot button is right here on the Stadia controller. Right there. So. I'm a creative person and I like art and stuff. I don't like not having light. What's up with this? Um, okay, yeah, thank you. Oh, man. I remember this from the demo, the original demo. And it wasn't this dark, though. Yeah, I don't like this. Uh, I don't want to see somebody's dookies in there. That wouldn't be cool. Interesting, yeah, because uh, in the demo, you had to come out this room. And there was like a little, like, a lever here and stuff so this is like the complete opposite of the demo look at these like torture chairs with spikes what's up with that it's covered in dried blood well I guess dried blood would indicate it's been a while right it's not fresh okay there's a lot of blood here This is definitely not the place you want to come uh, in your free time, you know. This obviously looks like a torture, uh, torture chamber kind of prison set up here. I mean, what could go wrong here, right? Okay, what was that? I'm scared of going into one of these cells and somebody uh, closed the door or closed the cell door on me and I'm trapped. Oh damn. Oh what the hell is oh that's that was the cell door. That shit I better open. Oh, God. Okay, thank you. Don't close on me, man. up with that chair. I don't want to sit on that chair. They got spikes in the back, the sides, and the bottom. Oh, heck no. Now I'll pass. I'm good. 
I'll stand. <laughs> Candidates, Irina, Mahela, Lois, and Ingrid. Rejects, Dandora, Greta, Nadine, Camellia, Bianca, Melina, Astrid, Layudmila, what a name, Rosalinda, Lena, Lena, Stefana, and Gabriella. Uh, so obviously they were doing some kind of experiments. Kinda sounds like Resident Evil 7. You guys let me know in the comments below what you think. Because remember, if you played Resident Evil 7, they were doing that with the people that they were kidnapping. Um, so that kind of sounds like what they were doing with 7. I feel like it's about to go down, people's. My spider sense is tingling, you know what I'm saying? Spidey sense is tingling. <laughs> 